So today on the broadcast church planning training video, we're going to talk about how identity is a journey. Uh, and one of the best ways to become a disciple of Jesus is to step out in faith, to go and do some stuff. That Jesus called his disciples by saying, come on, let's go, follow me, let's do something. Uh, to grow in our devotion uh, to God, we need to be on mission. It's that simple. That's how we grow. So when I started church planting back in 2009, when we first started in uh, Fallowfield in South Manchester in the vodka bar, in all honesty, I was not ready as a disciple, as a human, as someone mature enough. I, I wasn't. Someone who had their identity in place, all those sorts of things, I was not ready. But if I hadn't have started church planning, I would never have in a thousand years been ready. I would never have been in a good enough place. Um, we don't grow in our love for God, in our discipleship. We don't grow as humans in a vacuum. It just doesn't happen. If you want to plant anything, it needs water, it needs exposure, it needs the elements to be on it in order for it to grow and to thrive. And that was definitely true for me. And I learned over the years of, uh, of planting, I have been nearly eight, nine years now, that first and foremost, I am a son of God, okay? That was my identity journey, going on that journey to learn that. And you think, well, maybe you should have known that at the beginning, Tim. And I would probably have said that, but you don't really understand it and know it until it's been under pressure, until it's been found out, till you've been found out. And when I started church planting, uh, I think I had something to prove. So identity was in perhaps what I thought of myself and definitely what other people thought of me. So I had something to prove to others and to me. Uh, and I really thought I can do this. I am worthy. I will be thought worthy if I do this. Um, now, let's not be too super spiritual about these things. In all honesty, I can do this, okay? Which you might think, well, it's horribly arrogant. Well, to a certain level, uh, I can gather a crowd, I can organise stuff, uh, I can stand up in front of people, I'm pastoral, I care for people. So you pull all those things together and think, actually, I probably could plant a church. But if that's who I am, that identity is on wanting to prove something to others or to myself, uh, and that's what gives me hope, and that's the thing that I worship almost, then it isn't going to last very long, is it? The, the thing ain't going to last. And so if I've got something to prove, then I will struggle with failure. So if you've got something to prove and you fail, then you get scared of trying stuff, and that kills faith. Uh, if you are uh, trying to prove something that's your identity, then you don't deal well with criticism. Because if it's you, the church plant is your own proof to the world that you can do this stuff, then any time it's criticised or somebody tries to give good feedback, then it's a personal attack and you can't win in that place. Uh, and also, if it's about your own identity and wanting to prove something, what others think of you, uh, then you won't do well with God. If things don't go well or things don't go how you think they should, then your question to God becomes, why won't you bless me? Why do you not love me? Uh, and that's never a good place to be. So over the years of doing this, I I've learned what is written in Romans, that those who are led by God's spirit uh, are sons of God. And I've known that in myself. And sons of God, as they plant churches, they don't need to earn approval. If you're a son, you just, you know that you have a relationship with the father. Uh, if you're a son and you hear criticism, then actually you want to learn, don't you? You don't want to defend and push back and say, no, that's not true. Actually, you want to hear what's been said and think, actually, you know what? I can learn from these things. And not every time someone criticizes you, they want to teach you and help you. Sometimes they're just critiquing to be mean. Uh, but actually, most of the time, people want to help. And also you realise that actually if you're a son, you want to spend time with the father. You don't want approval from the father. You don't want to constantly go to him for blessing and say, why won't this work? Don't you love me? Actually, it's just uh, formed in relationship. Uh, and identity for me is formed in the journey. Church planters perhaps uh, feel or give in to the lie that they should already be sorted, that this sort of stuff should be worked out already. Or perhaps you lead a church and you think, actually, we need to send some people off to plant, but they're not ready yet. Actually, most of the time, they're never going to be ready. Identity, uh, uh, discipleship is formed in the journey of church planning. So if you want to hear more about church planning, we've got just stacks of resources at thebroadcastnetwork.org. I encourage you, have a look around, get in contact with us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much.